Namaste. Hey there, my lovely Aquarians. Welcome to my channel. This is Lashful Magical. Thank you very, very much for tuning and joining in. And of course, welcome to your reading for your sign Aquarius, for your sun, moon, rising and Venus placements. Now, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you catch up on it, it's a perfect timing for you to find these messages and hopefully resonate with them. And it is a general reading Aquarius. So Keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with you, okay? Take only what does resonate with you. If you feel this is not my story, then it is obviously for somebody else. Now let's dive and see what you need to know, what you need to pay attention to and be aware of. If you're wishing to have a personal reading with me, Aquarius, we can make it happen. Take a look into the description box for more of the information, how you can reach out to me. Now, let's see. Let's see. The overall energy for you, Aquarius, big time. Death, rebirth. This is Scorpio energy, Scorpio major arcana. Some of you, you... Um, I'm picking up, you identify as Scorpio, meaning of you probably feel a lot of uh, connection between and a Scorpio energy. Maybe you also have it very prominent in your natal chart. This is the big energy of transformation, changes, letting go and letting in. I feel like also for a lot of you who will resonate with the reading, this is about resolving, resolving, evolving. Finding the truth of who you want to be in the next chapter of your life. Now, your first message is fire energy, two of wands. And this is the energy where um, the past is still kind of a present, even though you are into that process and mode of letting go. And a part of you is still reminiscing about what have happened, what you've been through. I feel like for a lot of you, uh, there has been a very tough period. Yeah, a lot of screaming in the background, screaming of your soul, probably. Um, two ones can also be meaningful message of traveling, literally traveling. And also... Um, you know, traveling from the inside out, uh, doing the inner work. There is no, don't touch it. Um, the first one is kind of, um, I feel like there is something that you yourself identify. I'm strongly picking up that message. I don't know what that might be. It will be different for every single one of you, of course. But uh, the one that is quite... <laughs> Picky and touchy to the girl illustrated is telling us the story that uh, there is something that you are really holding into, uh, which can, of course, have to do with the past and what you've been through, what you've gone through. But it can be an opinion, it can be an energy, it can be an ex, it can be a memory, it can be a lot. In the middle of your reading, Aquarius, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And I love to see this energy, especially after the two ones, which is not very positivity kind of energy. Uh, anyhow, the Queen of Swords definitely is. It's that Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm picking up some of you may be having Aries also prominent in your chart. The Queen of Pentacles is the message of stability and grounding. Uh, keeping yourself to your core. Knowing what you're doing, knowing your worth and being very proud of that. I feel like a lot of you, the chapter that you are creating, that you obviously have manifested for yourself, it has to do with stable ground. It has to do with um, I'm making this worth not only because of myself, but also the people who I admire and the people who encourage me as well. Um, because the Queen of Pentacles is down-to-earth energy, lovable and nurtured towards the earth and the people, the humanity, and that's totally you, Aquarius. The Hierophant as your next message is awakening. In one word, this is a Taurus major arcana, number of five and fives in numerology. 
um, speak about drastic changes, okay? So uh, a lot of changes are going on in the background. A lot is happening for you. Uh, for some of you, uh, this is a big close. And of course, at the same time, a big opening. It's about releasing and letting go and also welcoming in what's yet to come, what's yet to happen. It's already here. It's happening. And according to that change, you are growing and blooming and flowering. So let's clarify these messages for you, Aquarius. If you have not already, do like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate that, Aquarius. Let's start with the two of wands and dive a little bit deeper into that message. Let's see. We have schizophrenia, okay? So there is a lot on your mind, uh, a lot of overthinking as Aquarians can be. Um, I feel like you're asking yourself if this is the right move. Am I doing the right thing? There is a slide of I'm unsure and that is what is making you feeling uh, unstable. That's why in the middle of your reading, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is coming in for you, that you are creating, going from the instability to stability and feeling safe and grounded. No need to wondering why and stuff like that. So as I was saying, schizophrenia, first message of clarification for the two ones. Then we also have innocence. I feel like this is awakening as well for a lot of you. Uh, waking up to, as I was describing already for the two of wands, uh, awakening to you, for your true self, to your true self, uh, finding out the truth, who you want to be in the next chapter. I was actually telling that while I was speaking for your overall energy, the death and rebirth. Uh, innocence can also represent intuition and inner voice. So for some of you, you really need to shut the minds and go deep within. And that traveling uh, can mean doing the shadow work that needs to be done, listening to your intuition, listening to your higher self, to your inner child, and looking forward. As, as you do, you're willing to look forward, you're willing to um, make something significant from what is yet to happen, what is yet to come. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, we have the wholeness. There is it. That stability and nurturing and caring and loving energy where you feel like none of the parts is missing. I have everything I need. I am everything I need. Uh, for a lot of you, you might be feeling needy at this period of time. Like you want to reach to something, you want to have something, but uh, because of the possibilities uh, that you are surrounded, it's not yet possible but everything is the work from the inside out right another message of clarification for the queen of pentacles we have the sharing i feel like this is really not only about yourself it's also about the unity and communicating and the people in your surrounding and environment your relationships that you have uh, just nurturing that in general being a part of the unity uh, is literally the meaning of the message. Sharing, sharing your energy, sharing your love, sharing the care. We have laziness at the bottom of the deck, which is another message of I'm not willing to get in my comfort zone. But you will. You will. And of course, as at first point, it might seem scary, but um, you will get along with that. You are an Aquarian. Okay, let's check out that Hierophant, then I will take a look into some Oracle message for your sign, Aquarius. <clears throat> the Hierophant, we have celebration. We have celebration. You will just enjoy the times of your spiritual awakening. Um, I feel like that one, even though the drastic change happen, happening out of a sudden, it will truly make you happy. It will, it will let you find your tribe, the people you can trust, the people you can um, hang out with and be with. This is a message of celebration, coming together, sharing, sharing the energies with each other. So a very friendly energy. I feel like if you have not yet found people uh, with whom you can just be, um, that is the period when it will happen. Uh, maybe in the next three to five months for sure. 
<coughs> and you have repaired another Scorpio energy, uh, big, big energy, um, which is, again, confirming that change is happening, transformation is happening, awakening is happening, and you are leveling up. Bottom of the deck, we have the new vision, yeah. A whole new horizons are opening up for you, Aquarius. Let's see the best possible advice for this situation for you, Aquarius. So a lot of changes, a lot is going on, and you get to feel it. Behind the curtain, also as well. We have release. You are being safe for something better. Don't hold on what's holding you back. So it's, it's like that wand from the past, that's why the two wands is not seen as very positive energy because we still have that past energy emerging in the present, even though you are looking forward, focusing, concentrating into what is yet to come. You want to move forward. Um, you want to succeed maybe in something specific or just general Aquarius, but this energy is still dragging you. So there is definitely something that you need to release and let go of. So make yourself on a way to do that. Um, I feel like for a lot of you who resonate with this, of course, are already doing that. So you are on the path of uh, creating the stability with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. I heart you. I heart you is... Literally the message of love and how lovable you are. Pakura Buttercup is also the message that you are genuinely kind and be genuinely kind because that is making you a total love magnet. Because being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration. But being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet. Create space for new love. This can be romance-wise for some of you. But it can also be, you know, just making a new friend, as we get to see with the celebration message. There is a tribe and community of people. Uh, maybe for the ladies out there that you are watching, especially with the Queen of Pentacles, maybe you will get a mother. That is the most beautiful new love you can get for your <laughs> entire life. Um, so, you know, it can mean a lot. Create space for new love. Uh, it doesn't have to be about a person. It can also be about a project that you will just adore to do. And in that way, you will get to experience who you are. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Do not overthink. Do not overanalyze. Uh, do not go into details of how and when and why and I should and I would, you know, Let's see what romance angels are willing to let you know, Aquarius. Okay, that one, we need to speak about that. Let the control go. Allow the situation to evolve naturally. So if you are trying to control some type of a situation, uh, maybe between you and your loved ones, between whatever the case might be for you guys, um, do not... Allow it to evolve naturally because it's happening for your highest good, first of all. And secondly, it will, it will do you better. It will do you good. Any case, anyhow, do not control it because maybe in that way and order, um, you will get to switch the energy. I mean, what is meant for you will find you anyway, right, Aquarius? But uh, let the control go. That's it. That's it what I have for you guys. I hope some of you resonate with this. I hope it is helpful. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I'm always glad to, to read from people. Uh, thank you for your time. And um, I will catch you guys pretty soon. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.